She just knew. I go to get my stuff set up. <laughs> She's got her big old tongue in my water. Now I need a fresh water. She's, she could she be here for five minutes. World's longest water stealer. It's a good thing she's cute. Good morning, Floss Tube. I got a new water. I even got a whole new cup. She cannot be trusted. <laughs> uh, good morning. It's Helen D. It's Tuesday, July something. They all run together. My whole summer's running together. Um, thank you for spending some time to watch my video today and talk all things cross-stitch. Um, I think I have everything, though I probably don't. Summer. Our whirlwind summer continues. <laughs> um, let's see, last video, we had just gotten back from West Virginia. We were back for one week, <clears throat> then we left again. Um, the second week, we had rented a house up on Sebastopol Lake um, with my parents and my sister's family. <clears throat> Sorry, hasn't been much talking yet today. That's why I needed my non-cat water. So we went up there for the week and had a great time. It's five nights, so it wasn't a full week. Um, it was great just to see the kids play together. There was a pool, there was the lake. Um, you know, my son did paddle boarding and kayaking and they, they had a great time. It was great to spend time with my parents and my sister, right? Like as adults, you don't get to do that extended, you know, Dawn and I might go to a cross stitch retreat or something and we're up there visiting for an afternoon, but not for five days straight. No one strangled each other. <laughs> the house was big enough that we all had enough space. Um, I think everyone had a good time. Dawn and I got very little stitching done because the lighting was terrible. <laughs> she came up a day after I did and I said, bring a light. I didn't pack a light. So I'm like, bring a light if you intend to get anything done. Um, we could stitch outside while the kids were swimming. Once the sun went, by like early afternoon, the sun was, it was shady in one strip and that's where we were <laughs> with the natural light. So we had a great time. We are now officially done traveling for the summer, but the summer of craziness continues. Uh, tennis camp starts up again today. My mother-in-law comes next week. Then there's another week of tennis camp. Then there's a week of mariner camp. Then a week off, then school starts. <clears throat> then I rest. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. I also went to the Stitch Main retreat. It was a one day retreat this weekend. Um, so I'll tell you all about that because I have lots of goodies to share. So we'll get to that. But first we'll do just our regular stuff. Now, I felt like I hadn't really done a ton of stitching because a whole week of it, I was at the lake. I brought, I don't know, two or three pieces. I worked mostly on one and started a second because the second was a perforated paper piece so it was a little easier to see. But then we were busy. Played 700 games of cribbage. You know, all the lake fun things. Stitching took a backseat. <clears throat> so um, I have one finish to show you and it was a super easy one. <laughs> I finally put this in here. So this is Hello Summer, the small piece from Let's, Let's Talk Summer, Chalk Talk. I think they're called Let's Talk and then the season. This is on an 18 count black Ada to fit in this pedestal frame that I got at Joann's four years ago. I really cut it close with this one. I should have cut my fabric a little bigger. It is pinched in there. You can see right here, like I couldn't even wrap it all the way around. There's my mat board. For what I need it to do, it will be fine, but it was tight. It was a tight, tight squeeze. That is my FFO. <clears throat> Um, I have one more FFO, which we'll talk about later. I'll set it aside. That's a little tease. Stay tuned. Finishes. Um, I think I have two things. Yes, I have two things. I just finished this yesterday, last night. I had been working on Peacock Pinkeep. This is an older out of print Blackbird that I'm borrowing from a friend. Uh, and I'm doing, I did this, I, I'm not doing the band. 
I don't know if I'll turn it into a drum or a round finish, but I just did the top. On a scrap piece, I thought this was a scrap of color and cotton, but it's surged on three sides. So honestly, now I have no idea what it is. So there he is. I used two color and cotton flosses, red rock and frosted sage. I don't know if these are available or from a club, but they were in my stash. So that's what I grabbed. So that one is done. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the other one, this is what I worked on at the lake. I finished Christmas Tiny Town. So these I'm shortening because I have this basket that I want to display them all on and they're just a smidge too long to fit on that basket. I could fit them if I stitched them on a smaller fabric or higher count fabric, but then I thought they'd be too skinny and that's just not what I wanted to do. So I have to take out one element of each of these. <clears throat> Here's the other one I did and it's all houses, squishing stuff. So I just took out a house. Actually, I took out this end house so that it started and ended with the long stuff. Well, taking out a house on this made it feel really lopsided. So I ended up taking out the tree. So it's just a row of houses and I, it's gonna fit perfect. So here it is. So I took out the center tree. So it's just a little holiday town and I left the pennants off. Um, there's some pennants like on the edges of those houses right here. I left those off. They worked when you had the tree in there that had the pendants on it too, but because I took that off, I thought I'll just leave them off. I'm gonna try and remember to put the snowflake buttons on. I forgot them on the other one. So this is on, I believe, it's a 16 count picture of this plus Ada, and I'm pretty sure it's open because the white shows up. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but. It was just a scrap. So that one is done. That's all I finished. I have, a, I have a lot of whips and I'm kind of getting to the point where, you know, July's coming to an end. I really want to work, I want to work on my whips, but I also want to start new things. So I really think I need to focus on some whips. That's why I pulled that peacock one out. It was my tennis project but I hadn't really been stitching on it in the summer because they turn, they leave the lights off upstairs to keep it cooler. Not that it helps, <laughs> it's really hot up there. Um, so I hadn't been stitching on it. And I'm like, this one is tiny, just get it done. So I did. So, whips. The other piece I brought up with me that I've been working on, the perforated paper piece. All my stuff's in that bag. I started my bats. <clears throat> this is a Val stuff. It's sold as a kit with, and all my kit parts are upstairs. This is a felt ball. The eyes are felt balls. The little <laughs> bits are buttons and these are buttons. My kit had this yellow bat, but I have more of the balls so I can do them whatever color I want to. I'm just noticing that one of his, Oh, it's not. In the picture, it looks like one of his teeth is pointing up, and I thought that was hilarious. Um, I really like the look of the black one. So I'm starting. <clears throat> You're going to see the other thing through it. So I outlined it all, and then I did the words, and then I can just fill it in. So mine says just batty, and it will be, it's not even black, it's 3799. Um, and then I have the black pom-pom. No, they're not pom-poms, they're felt balls. I've gotten balls before from Cutest Little Garlands on Etsy. Um, I'll link them below. <coughs> These are the three inch balls. And the eyes are the, not three inch. Yeah, three inch. And these are the little ones. Now I gotta look it up, because I wanna say one centimeter, but it doesn't make sense that one of them would be in centimeters and one of them would be in, in inches. <clears throat> so let me see so I can tell you the right thing. I just ordered a few more so it will be right in my purchases. How convenient. 
one centimeter and three centimeters. Let's see, so the three centimeters are the big ones, and the one centimeters are the other eyeballs. And then I found some just little plastic triangle buttons, and these are teeny tiny black ones. So I'd love a whole garland of these guys, but we'll see. I might get one done. Oops, part of it fell out. Okay. I had a picture up here that I was going to show you, and then when I clicked on something else. My other piece is a new start, and it is, I think she calls it Lobster Catch Biscornu. It's by Marissa of M. Kissa Creations. This was included in our goodie bag at Stitch Made. I'm going to pause and clear my throat. I'll be right back. I hate editing, but you guys didn't need to hear me hacking. So this is Lobster Catch Biscornu. She did a great job. You can see our puzzle back there. It's not finished yet. Um, I was teasing her that a lot of designs with lobsters, they're red. Well, a red lobster is a dead lobster because they don't turn red until you cook them. So I said, I really think you should have called this dead lobster biscornu. you. So that's what I'm calling it. So I started my dead lobster biscornu on a 20, 32, it's a 32 count light blue Lugana because it's the one I had. I knew because I kind of helped plan the retreat and I was working with Marissa to get her chart and stuff. For the, so I knew it was coming. It wasn't a surprise to me. And you can't really tell in this picture, but it's on a really pretty light blue. And this is what I had that was closest. She used something different, but this is what I had. And I wanted to start it that day. So dead lobster biscornu is underway. Uh, and then I, I don't remember where this was last week. Last video. I didn't touch cardinal points while we were gone because I wasn't hauling it all up there. But I feel like I've gotten some done <laughs> since I've shown it to you. I'm up here working in this bird with all the leaves. I've pulled this stuff over. This should be my Monday, Tuesday project, but like yesterday, my son had a friend over. This wasn't happening. So this week, it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm going to work on it today and tomorrow. <clears throat> um... And I still haven't lint rolled this bag. In case anyone's wondering about the cat hair update, now you have it. Okay, Stitch Main, let me pull out my bag, my goodie bag. So Stitch Main was a one day retreat. Um, we held it at Maple Hill Inn Bed and Breakfast. Um, it's up in Hollowell, which is just, it's really just outside of Augusta. Um, it was organized by Penny at the Daily Stitcher. It's an online shop, which I'll link. I helped her, but Penny did most of it, right? I kind of helped. We went over some things, but she's the one who did the majority of the work. Um, but it worked out well because then day of, <clears throat> she brought up a bunch of stuff to sell. She had like a pop-up shop. So she was busy with that. So I could kind of do, I, I ran the day. <laughs> she set it all up and then I ran the day, which really just included yelling at people when lunch was ready and yelling at people for door prizes and stuff like that. I did a lot of yelling, thus the voice. So um, Penny set up and Teresa at the Crafty Grimalkin, who I'll also link, also set up a pop-up table. Um, she has... She sells charts and stuff, but she also sells sometimes, um, she makes bags. I bought one of her bags. I want to empty it so you can see it. So I bought this bag. It's a vinyl bag with cats and dogs. It's going to be covered in not white. I really shouldn't have gone with the white, but cats. So I bought this bag. It has a cute little paw zipper pole. And then she also has, um vinyl decals so life isn't all crossage but it should be so this will i don't know if i want to put it on the car because then my car might become my son's car and then he'll be like lame <clears throat> if i were a note keeper i'd get a nice journal and put it on there but i'm not a note keeper which is which leads to my next thing oh i didn't put him in there Teresa also sells um, 
stickers for those of you who journal for the journalers which again it's not me so she gave me I, I got three sets of stickers to use as giveaways today so we'll see these later but I just want to show you so if you're a book of days or a journaler she's got some great ones so you'll see those in a bit so I will link both Teresa and Penny below I'm going to put it on the non lint roll bag and then it will be dirty already. Uh, so we had 50 people sign up. <clears throat> we were limited by space. 48 were able to make it. Two people last minute weren't able to make it. Um, no frills. We did do a smalls exchange. Um, lunch was included. Basically, we just stitched, right? We sat and we stitched and we talked and it was great. I was gonna say everyone was from Maine, but they weren't. I know that um, my friend Kat was there from Massachusetts and there was a stitcher there from Connecticut who has like family in Maine. So it worked out well that people could kind of come and stay with a family member and not be too far away and then um, stitch with us. I'm trying to find something. Um, yeah, so we had our goodie bag. <clears throat> it had Marissa's Lobster Catch Dead Lobster Biscornu, which is now on her Etsy site. So you can grab that there. Um, Penny tucked in a freebie that was from Market. And then I made a freebie. I, so if any of you that went are wondering why I had this tiny page, I was trying to give you the DMC conversion and I couldn't get it to fit over here because I used PC Stitch and I had very limited options. And I had some little goodies with it. So this was my piece. Loons, Lakes, Blueberries, Black Bears. It's my main piece. Um, I finished it with a little piece of lace and a couple buttons. Uh, mine is stitched on 14 count Helix, picture this plus Ada, um, a scrap that I had. It's like a really, really pale gray. This right here is um, Gentle Art Blueberries Floss, which <coughs> we got a scan of in her back. So this was my, my chart. Um, if any of you would like it, it it's very main, <laughs> but if anyone would like it, it is now on my website, which I will link below um, for the PDF on my freebies website. So that is there. Um, we got the blueberry floss, the charts. It was many things. Penny put in a little goodie bag. Teresa gave us all a Stitch Main sticker. Um, there was some of the tiny super snips, which are great, and a snag nabbit. And then some like foods and such, which I've taken out of this bag. <laughs> um, and then a few people there like brought things to share. Um, I'm terrible with the names, you guys, but someone had made us little bags with candy, which got eaten, but they had these little charms on them, like zipper pull or floss drop charms. Um, and a little charm in the bag. Ken made us scissor fobs. Little, little charms on the bottom. And then um, Jenny, let me open this up. Jenny put together like a little pretty bag with some candies and tea and like a hard floss separator thingy. And she made these Needle minders, say Stitch Main. I believe this is Maine's original flag. So that was really cool. Everyone was super nice. We had a good time. Um, it was nine to five. It was nine to five. And people were trying to get in at 8.30. <laughs> and I don't blame them. Um, 
but we couldn't let anyone in because it's at a bed and breakfast and we were setting up and they had told us we have to be really quiet when we're setting up because there's guests trying to sleep. And I, I said to the guy, I'm like, well, as soon as nine o'clock rolls around, they will not be quiet. So I hope they sleep now. <laughs> um, we also did a smalls exchange. Um, I gave my, that little swimmer piece that I showed a couple weeks ago. And then I received this one, which was stitched by Beverly. So it's really simple. Just as Noelle, she tucked it right in this perfectly sized little frame. Easy peasy, it's super cute. It's fancy with the double, double knots. So that, yeah, that was all of my stitch main goodies. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. This one I left out because I was using it. Uh, also in our goodie bag, we each got one of these mini Bitsy Keeps from That's So Calico. When Penny and I were trying to figure out what to put in the goodie bags, we, we didn't want to charge a ton for the retreat, so we had, you know, limited funds for the goodie bags. So we were trying to think of something like a, a main thing and then like some little extras. Um, and... <clears throat> I'm like, you know those? Because Penny has some of the bigger ones of these that she sells that Kelly has made for the Daily Stitcher. I'm like, I wonder if she'd be willing to make a small one, like that you would just tuck in your bag. So Penny reached out to her and Kelly was like, yeah, let me see what I can do. Um, so she came up, I had a needle mind or two, but it's in, it's in another bag. So she came up with this. So it's a stitch main, it's all main things. Now she sells not this design, she sells these little ones on her website. So if you're interested, um, they're a great size for just one little project. This is my Dead Lobster Biscornu, um, which now I better put back in there or I'll be at a loss. There we go. Um, so they were super cute. So that is that. And then there was shopping. Like I said, Penny and Teresa both set up. Um, Teresa, I bought the bag. Penny, I bought some charts. She had this one. This is called, it's on the bottom. On Pins and Pumpkins. It's a Brenda Gervais. She had the model. She, she set up a table with models of stuff that we could get right like we didn't have a trunk show or anything like that she we went through what i had stitched we went through what she had stitched and a couple of our other friends that sh that penny had charts for and that's kind of what we set up and she had this penny had this that she had actually gotten at a retreat as a small and it was adorable it was tiny because you know it was on 40 count mine will be larger but equally as cute so i picked up that she had the new releases from hands-on design so i got more beach because no one does a seagull like Kathy Hoberman. And they just released a surprise bonus prairie schooler chart called a Merry Mini Surprise. Misty and Barbie and I were doing Christmas ornaments for each other again this year. And we'd already kind of talked about it. And then we get a note from Misty two weeks ago. Did you see the new prairie schooler? And we're like, what? We already have the new Santa, right? That's already come out. And she said, no, there's a new one. And it was this one. So now we've decided that we're stitching from this for each other. So what we're going to stitch these for each other this year. Super cute. So that was my charts. And I think that's it. A couple other purchase things, or not purchase things. The first one's a gift. Um, my friend Cheryl went to StitchCon, and while she was there, she picked me up a gift. The new Heart and Hand Halloween Doodles, which is adorable. I don't know what fabric that's on. Tobias Linen. I don't even know who dyes that. I'll have to come up with something that the white will show up on. It'll probably be gray. <laughs> and then she got me this cute... Um, I don't even know what you call them. A floss book, an ort book, a thread keep. There's all kinds of different 
names for it. Um, with cats, there's none sticking their head in the water. Although this right here is what Pepper looks like in the sun. She's just, we call her pooch up. She's all pooch up in the sun. This looks like this card was in it, Painted Leaf Co. I believe she got it at um, Keepsakes. So that was a gift. And this was a gift, actually. Um, my mom, when we did our family vacation, because it was in July, my mom wanted to do Christmas in July. She misses Christmas with us because they go to Florida all summer, all winter. Not all summer, <laughs> they'd melt. Um, so we did Christmas in July and we all drew a name and my mom had me. And she, look how cute this bag is with its little detail. She got me some pins from Pin Cushion Crazy on Etsy. Two sets of pins. This one is like sea creatures and shells. And this one is garden. Garden pins. So they're really cute. I've got to find some stuff to poke them into. I should leave these right down here and because all my summer stuff is out. See what I can stick pins in. So that was mine. I got my husband. What can I buy for him all the time? I got him some Dungeons and Dragons dice. My son got my dad, who just had shoulder surgery in the spring, and then he has a second shoulder done in the fall. They're going back early. <laughs> we found him a shirt on Amazon, just a t-shirt, and it says, mostly original parts. So that's what we got for him. It was funny. <laughs> um, oh, and I also got a couple more fabrics from Mystic Fabrics from their Ready to Ship line, but that's what I forgot to bring downstairs, so I got some fabric. Giveaways. We have one last call. I still haven't heard from Michelle Brooks. So last call Michelle Brooks for the round red sampler. Last video, I had chosen some, whoops. I had chosen two Christmas charts from Carla at Cobweb Corner and I was doing like Christmas in July for the month of July. So we have Christmas starts from last video and Christmas starts again this video. And while I'm remembering, Carla just did an interview with um, Becca at Sambury Stitches. She does her interview of, with a floss tuber series and Carla's loaded Sunday, I think. And it was really, it was really fun to watch. So um, I'll link that below if you wanna check that out and learn some more about Carla. I learned things I didn't know about Carla, so that was fun. So we had Tiny Town. Um, I can't give mine away yet too because I haven't sewn the buttons on. So Tiny Town, Christmas Tiny Town is Jacqueline Boyd. And Santa's House goes to Pat Wiggers. So email me your addresses. And then this, this week, we have some extras. So, the first two are from Carla, Cobweb Corner. We, I picked out the 2011 Santa. He's always been one of my favorites. So, giveaway rules. You have to be 18 so you can legally give me your address. I'd appreciate it if you were a subscriber. Go check out Carla's channel at Cobweb Corner and subscribe to her as well. Um, and please don't say like giveaway or free or all those words. So, we're gonna use numbers this week. So, number one, is the 2011 Prairie Schooler Santa. Number two is 25th Block Party. So this is number two. Um, Carla did just get some more of these in with the pins, if you're interested, they're so much fun. Number three will be the stickers from the Crafty Grimalkin. And I'm gonna choose three different people. And I'm, they're gonna be random, one sticker sheet per person. So number three, and I'll draw three of these. And then number four, tiny doilies. <laughs> My mom has made me some more tiny doilies. These are the ones she made for me. She's making three more. So I'll draw three people 
for giveaways. I don't remember which ones she's making because my brain doesn't work that well. So we'll draw three number fours for tiny snowflakes. Um, this is from a pattern that I bought on Etsy. I'll link that below. It's a Ukrainian designer, so it's PayPal only. We were trying to figure out because she was going to get it and she's like, it won't take my credit card. That's weird. And I'm like, oh, I'll get it when I get home. And then when it came through, I'm like, oh, well, it's a Ukrainian designer and right now they're PayPal only. So I'm going to show you the one she made me. And then again, I'll pick three random. I don't even know what they are. It's a price for both of us. So there's Little Snowflake. And I think one of these, like there was a bigger snowflake and then she left a row off to make them a little smaller. I don't crochet, so I don't know all the details. So, got tiny snowflakes. There was one more spider web in there in the pile she made me. And then this one, which I think came from the snowflake design, but it's really pretty. That could be in any time. So number four, tiny snowflakes. That's it. Oh, also, at the end of this video, I had quite a few people last time want to see Emmy and Pepper's catio. So I shot a little video as best I could. It's outside, it's through a narrow little doorway. It's not the best, but I'll tack it on the end here um, just to kind of give you a little glimpse of what that looks like. So I'll be back in a couple of weeks. It might be later in the week because I believe my mother-in-law is still here at the beginning of the week. I, if my memory serves me well, <laughs> that she's here at the beginning of the week and then I can film a little later in the, like Thursday or Friday. So I hope everyone has a good couple of stitchy weeks. The link for this is the link. It's not even a link now. It's just a website because I put my husband to work. This is live. Um, I'll go put things away and then we have to go have an early lunch and go to tennis camp. So. See you guys, bye. There comes Emmy in from the catio. Oh, and Pepper, I didn't know she was out there. Again, not using the door that I conveniently ordered for them. Um, it's hard to shoot this because our little tiny back deck is tiny. So it's got this PVC set of Little benches, I guess. John put some plywood on them and I bought some outdoor cushions um, so they can climb up there. And it just fills our whole terrible deck. And like I said, it's very classy. We have pool noodles to fill gaps. There's a paint stirrer as a latch. <laughs> but it's all filled in so that they can sit out there and relax. Oh, I thought she was going to jump up there for you. She knows she's on display. Nope, she's not going to do it for you. She's, she's not an on-demand kind of girl. And it just fills this whole area right down to the compost bucket. So they've been using it quite a bit, though they refuse to use the door. Right, Emmy? So there is the catio.